Greetings fellow traveler. I want to remind you that there will be times people in your life that will only be in your life or rock with you because you're going along with how they live life. You're going along with their rules. Truth of the matter. It's okay to change your mind. It's okay to not agree with how they're moving. It's okay to separate. It's fine. It's natural. I'm sharing this because no matter how long you've known the people, it could be a couple weeks, it could be a couple years, for some it could be almost your whole life. You don't owe them anything. <laughs> I know. It's interesting, right? You don't owe them anything. They don't owe you anything. What? Especially as uh, as children, we could be told that in so many different words that we owe somebody something. It could be our parents. We brought you in this world. We could take you out. Okay. <laughs> it sounds good, but it's not true. If we look at death and all that, yeah, we can say it's true, but can they really take you out of this world? Can they really stop you from living your life? Not unless you give them the power. It could be friends. Oh, you're not loyal. Oh, you're this, you're that. Tear you down when you don't give them what they want, the version of you that they want. There's plenty of people out here. You keep it moving. The moral of the story is you control it all don't get caught up in the rules that other people may place on you it's all for you hey how y'all doing so as you continue to go about your journey stay true to yourself don't get caught up in what others say you should be doing or how you should be living how they know everybody got their own journey we're here to figure out our own while you're figuring out your own, you learn about yourself. Don't let nobody tell you, you must do this. You have to do that. Prove it. <laughs> or better yet, while you're on your journey, prove that you don't got to do that. Prove that you create how this life ends up for you. Bottoms out, I'm trying to keep the sun out your way. So, yeah, I'm sharing that because I had a dream. That is very telling of where I am on my journey. And it involves some individuals that would only go into a certain venture with me. And I forget what the venture was. They would only do a certain kind of business with me. That's what it was. It was selling a car. I don't sell cars. But in a dream, that's what came up. And someone close to me, a relative, was attempting to sell me on this idea, on their vision. I seen that it was possible, but it wasn't my truth because I knew the other individuals we had to work with to get it achieved. They uh they weren't ideal. So it got to a point in the dream where I had to make a decision. Am I gonna do it or not? I said, no. I didn't explain myself. I simply said, no, it's not my vision. I'm not gonna do it. Everyone associated with that deal shunned me. Didn't want anything to do with me. And years ago, I would feel bad. I would even wake up with guilt in my heart. This time, I said, okay. When they came back around to try to sell me on why I was wrong and why they were right, I gracefully declined. Hey, I hear what you're saying. It's not for me though. So good luck for y'all and y'all endeavors, but don't include me in it. They got mad again. This time, visibly mad. They weren't attempting to hide anything. Okay. Now I believe in the power of dreams, meaning I believe for myself, that was a reminder, hey Derek, you're doing what you set out to do, which is building a life of your making, going about your journey. 
unapologetically. Not really or disrespectfully, but kindly holding yourself accountable and being true to what you feel and think. I'll share that with you to say, mind yourself every day, every moment if you have to. You don't owe nobody but yourself. And while you taking care and being accountable to the things that you owe to yourself, the opinions of others will fall by the wayside. Because no amount of satisfaction you give anybody will be as fulfilling as the satisfaction that you give yourself. Until next time, be blessed. Please don't forget to smile.